Hi, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk mountain weather and ski conditions. And first off, let's look at uh, Alta. And they got nailed overnight, uh, 18 inches, uh, a 24-hour total up there. I'm sure it was great skiing today. They'll add a few more inches today, tonight, and do tomorrow, and maybe another six inches with storm number two. But that's the view right now up at Alta. Let's see, uh, I checked in at uh, Purgatory and Wolf Creek in Colorado. They're getting snow right now. Wolf Creek's in for a lot more, and so is Silverton as well in Colorado. So let's get into the uh, radar and satellite analysis and... Where you see the blue, that is the snow, so we've got it. It's still falling up there over the Wasatch. It's still falling uh, in Colorado across the West Slope down into the southern mountains of Colorado. You can see the um, there's a little bit of energy that's kind of rolling through Colorado out of New Mexico, but the main low is actually sitting back here over Los Angeles, and that's going to take a little bit of time. And what that will do is basically roll just like that all the way up through Colorado. So that'll keep the snow going in places like Silverton, Purgatory, Wolf Creek over the next 24 hours. And then there's another storm to talk about as well as we roll into Monday and Tuesday. So nice pattern here. The jet stream is what's making all of this possible. The storm track, I showed you that low sitting down here in the trough, the deepest part of the jet. Uh, the other energy is swinging up through parts of Utah and New Mexico and Colorado. It, it was that wind energy in the aura graphics that slammed into the Wasatch producing that heavy snow up there. So the jet can do a lot for you if you can get the, uh, the orientation right. And there's also another storm. Let me just put this into uh, the motion so you can kind of see what's coming. So by the time we get to Sunday late, that final piece of this first storm complex will be moving out. But this is an entire cycle, so there's another storm coming in behind it. And there is another one behind that as well. Uh, let's go into Tuesday on the jet stream. And there is that, uh, that second low moving into the four corners. And you can see the next low ticking shape behind that. So nice ripples in the flow right there. Our future uh, radar or forecast radar looks like this. Heading through the night into Sunday morning, there's that final low coming up from the south. Again, that'll swing up through the eastern plains of Colorado, but it does keep the snow going in southwest and west Colorado. But only, only very light additional snow uh, into Sunday through parts of the Wasatch. Nothing like what we just saw. And then you can see that next storm off uh, the Pacific Northwest, which will dive to the south. Future radar into Monday morning looks like this. And this is good. So you still have snow rolling through Colorado. Here comes the next low diving south through Tahoe. Snow into the Sierra. Snow into Nevada. And this will push snow into Utah especially southern Utah, like Bryan Head. But this one doesn't have quite the large shield of precip as uh, the, the one that we just saw roll through. And it's going to go a little further south. This one will be a little bit colder as well. All right, let's move into Tuesday morning. You can see the low. It's way down here. It's moving kind of in this direction. And the snow is just kind of on the southern periphery of the Wasatch, but Bryan Head getting hit. Uh, pretty good. Look at that mixing down into southern uh, Nevada. How about that? Uh, it's still snowing uh, in even the valley areas in Colorado as this second storm is going to be colder. And by Tuesday evening, that low will be moving through Colorado. And yep, there's another low coming in to the Pacific Northwest. So as far as snow totals go, let's roll this out by Sunday morning. Again, maybe another two to four inches across the Wasatch. Still is going to be awesome skiing tomorrow up there regardless and uh, you can see some additional snow through Colorado as well and then that final piece tracks through Colorado between Sunday and Monday morning and those totals all go way up through Silverton and Wolf Creek uh, because of that last piece on that first storm then we have to start to watch for the next low pressure to swing in here it comes you can see the numbers ticking up through Squaw and Mammoth, and look at Brian Head by the time we get into Tuesday morning on the clock. We've added a couple more inches into the Wasatch, but again, that snow shield, it's just it's right on the southern periphery of the Wasatch. And look at the numbers in Colorado continuing to go up through Silver to look at Wolf Creek at 22 uh, inches there by Tuesday afternoon. So we still have some snow to go as this first storm is going to take its time rolling through uh, Colorado and away, and then the second storm comes in with another shot of snow. Not as big, though, for northern Utah, but at least we've got a nice storm track in place. So have a great weekend. I always appreciate you here tuning in. Thanks and take care.